welcome back to my channel my name is Aisha popularly known as Atta Culture in today's video I'll be showing you how to cut and sew a wrap top with a peplum so the material will be needing we need our fabric this is silk material our tape root, French curve scissors chalk and the measurements we'll be using thanks for your support please Click on the red button to subscribe to my channel. You can also give it a thumbs up and share the video with your friends. As you can see, I fold my fabrics into two. This is it. I will be cutting out the back first. So the half length I'm using from the shoulder to under bust is 14 and a half. So from here. I will measure my 14 and a half. I will add half inch to it for the joining. So that will make it 15. So 15, I'm using 15 for the half length, as you can see. So from here, the back does not have zip. You know it's a wrap top, so the it, it will have rope that we use to tie it. So the shoulder I'm using is 14 and a half. 14 and a half divided by 2. That will give us 7.3. So this is it. 7.3. So from here, I measure from the from here, I measure eight and a half. So this is my eight and a half. I come here, I measure the same measurement I use here. 7.3. So this is it. So this is our shoulder. This is the length of our shoulder. The length of our sorry, the length of our hand. Oh, so this is it. So from here, I take my measurement. The bust I'm using is thirty nine. So thirty nine divided by four, that will give us nine point eight. So this is it. So from here, I had my inseam allowance, which is two. So here at the waist. I come to the waist so my the waist I'm using is 35 and a half so 35 35 and a half divided by 4 it will give us 8.9 so 35 and a half divided by 4 it will give us 8.9 so this is it so, at the waist it will have that so I'm adding one inch that to hit plus the two inches inseam allowance. So this is it. So here the back I will be using one inch for the depth, why three inches for the Weed, so for the neck. So, yeah, I look for the midpoint of the armhole length. 
we are we use eight and a half so the midpoint will be 4.2 so this is the midpoint so from there we call It, we come to, to the arm O length for our shoulder slope. We go down by one inch, so we connect it to the shoulder. So I will be cutting it out now. This is our length. So for our dart, we are using four for our dart. So from here, we measure four. I know it. This is our back. I'll be cutting out the front part of the top now. I fold it into two, as you can see. I'll be laying the back side on the front aspect to cut it out. So this is the this is the back. I lay it on the front aspect. Let me shock it out. So as you can see, I've shock out the back aspects on the front aspect. So as you can see, this is it. So from here, from from this line, from this line, I'll measure five inches from here. So this is the five inches. I will measure it downward.
I'll come to the shoulder to shape our neck. I'm using three for the weed. Three, we use three for the back also. So this is three for the weed. We're using five and a half for the depth because I don't want it to open too much at the front. So I'm using five and a half for the depth. So as you can see, this is five and a half for the depth. So I'll give it that shape right now. So from here, give it that V shape. We curve it. So this is it. see so I'll give it that V shape this is it so and our darts also I'll be taking four inches from this line here not from here I'll be taking four inches from this particular line where I shop my back side too so So that's all. And for our arm O, our arm O, the front arm O is different from the back arm O. So this is the back arm O. So I'll come to, I'll go up, you know, we already slope it down. So I'll go up by one inch. I'll also take that four and 4.2 that I took at the front. That's the midpoint from there. I come inward by one inch. As you can see, so from there, I'm shaping out my front arm hole. So I'll connect it like this. So as you can see, so this is the front arm hole. Why this is the back arm hole? This is the front arm hole, and this is the back arm hole. So I'm cutting out the front. So I've shaped the front arm hole now. So let me cut it out. So here I will notch the four inches that I took. So I will already notch it. Here. So this is the front aspect of our half length of our wrap top. So as you can see, cut out our paper. Our waist is 35 and a half. Are the front aspect of the upper part we had five inches to the front aspect when we are cutting out the next side so that five inch that we have that extra five inch that we have you know is for the two side that's five plus five to give us ten so we will be adding it back to our waist measurement so that we won't be short of material when we are joining the flay to the upper parts. So 35 and a half plus 10, that will give us 45 and a half. So 45 and a half divided by the number of folding that we are folding our flay. So now I've already fold my flay into four already. So this is it. So I fold it into four already. So as you can see, you fold it this way. You join, you fold it together here. So you bring it back this way. So this is one, two, three, four. 
so now i'll be folding it again so i'll just bring this from here i'll bring it i'll bring this this way so so i fold it into it so this is it i fold it into it so and we will now divide 45 and a half divided by eight. That will give us 5.7. So here now, we will measure our 5.7 from here. This is our 5.7. So from here, we measure 5.7. This is it. This is our 5.7. So from there, we took our measurements. The upper part from the shoulder to the half length is 14 and a half so from there we took away 14 and a half from our full measurement our full measurement is 30 so from there we measure 30 plus the joining half inch so the down aspect i'm whipping it i'm not folding it so i'll whip the down aspect so so in need of adding so i'll measure it's right so that's 16 so i'm measuring 16 round so from here i took 16 whole round This is our apron. So as you can see, this is full peplum without joining. No joining at the side, but I will be cutting it at the middle aspect. As you can see, no joining at the side. So this is a wrap. So I will be cutting it now. I'll cut it at the center. As we will be adding so that's where our wrapping we meet our wrap so this is it for the flip now i'll be cutting out the sleeve i fold it into four i'm cutting the two sleeve at once so the length i'm using is 17 which is three quarter sleeve with one and a half inch for folding because i'll be adding elastic to the edges of the sleeve so i'm adding elastic to it so so this is it so now i'll shape my sleeve Because it's elastic, it's not tight sleeve, so it's free sleeve. So I'm making it free here, so because I'm adding elastic to the edges, so to be free, so it's not tight sleeve. So let me cut it out.
chemicky. Sú zase zástry. This is our sleeve. The cutting one inch out from the material. That's why we use to tape the neck side. So I'll be cutting one inch straight. I'll be cutting it to this is the one inch. I'll be using it to pipe the neck around. So that's the rope. So this is it that we'll be using. So this is eight inches. So I'm going to sew it in wood. So this is the rope for the top. So now I'll be sewing it and I'll be showing you how to join it together. This is the back aspect. This is the front of the of one side. So this is it. I will join it together. First, I will first use the one inch that I cut this one. I will first use it to tape here. I will use it to tape it, turn it. So this, this. So I also use it to pipe here also the neck. So. I'm using it to pipe the neck first. After that, I'll join it at the shoulder aspect. I'll join the side. I'll join it at the shoulder. Then after that, I'll pull my dart, the front dart and the back dart. So let me do that first. So after that, I'll be showing you what next. So see, I've joined the shoulder together. I've piped it with that one inch. So from the back, I fold it to the front. So this is the dart also. I use four inches for the front dart, the length of the dart, and five and a half for the back dart. So this is the back. So I use five and a half for the length of the back dart. So this is it. So and I've joined the rope to it. So this is the rope, as you can see. This is the rope, I've joined it to it. So I've joined it to the other side also. So this is how it will look. I've joined it to the other side. So this is it. This is the rope that will go through the back. This is the one that will go through the back. So this one will be at the front. This rope will go through the back. And this one will be at the front here. So this one will be at the front here. So from the back, we roll it to the front. So. So we'll come from the back to the front, from this side. So what I'm going to do right now, I will join this side together. But when I'm joining this side, no, this rope is going through the back. I will leave like three inches open at the side for the rope to enter. So I will join this side together now. I will join it with the bust and waist measurements that we are using so after joining it so i will have to open three inches at the side so that that will be where the rope will pass through so but at this side no need of at the other side no need of opening so the rope will just 
we, we, we rope we just come through the back and straight to the other side so and what again i'll be joining the flay to the that's the peplum i'll be joining it to the upper side upper part of the so this is the peplum and i'll be joining it to it so after that i'll be joining it to it this way so i'll be joining it to it so and after that i will add my sleeve also i will join my sleeve to it this is the sleeve so i'll be joining the sleeve to it so let me do that and come and show you the final look as you can see this is the final look of our wrap top with a peplum so this is it this is the v neck and this is the rope so this is where the rope will pass through you can see it here this is where the rope is going to pass through to the back you can see it very well so and this is the peplum so are the peplum at the front i gave it a curve shape you can see the shape this is the shape i gave it a curve shape like this so that's all about our wrap top with a peplum find this video helpful you can kindly give it a thumbs up if you have any question or any suggestion you can drop it in the comment section below kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on your notification bell whenever i upload a new video you will be notified thanks for watching bye